Hello once again, this is Orion Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching. Now, YouTube publicly states that uh, they have a real live person view every single video that is flagged on their site. And then that person makes a determination as whether or not that video violates the TOS, and if it does, it's removed. However, that doesn't always seem to be the case. Videos get flagged and then removed, and we're left to wonder what exactly it was about that video that violated YouTube's terms of service. People might be wondering what the root cause of all this is. I mean, why is YouTube deleting videos that are relatively harmless? Why do they take down a video on a DMCA when there's no content, no copyrighted content, being illegally used in that video? Well, the root cause of this, I think, goes back to 2008. Back in 2008, the British government uh, issued a complaint against YouTube stating that YouTube was not doing enough to remove objectionable videos from their website. YouTube's response, of course, was, well, we have a real person look at each flag video and we, we rely upon our, uh, our users to flag objectionable material for us. Due to the sheer number of videos that are uploaded every single day, every single hour, every single minute to YouTube, it makes it a, a Herculean task, to say the least. So if they do too little, they risk government censure. Now, governments such as China, Morocco, Thailand, Turkey, Pakistan, Libya, countries like that, have already blocked or limited the access to YouTube from their citizens within their borders. Now, that probably doesn't concern YouTube an awful lot. I mean, if they're not getting a lot of views out of Pakistan or Libya or even communist China, it's really not costing them an awful lot of money. However, if the... British government decides to block YouTube because of all the objectionable material there, or if other European Union nations, or perhaps Canada, or even the United States, uh, either all of the United States or parts of the United States, individual states or territories, decide to block access to YouTube or limit access to YouTube, well, that will cost YouTube money. Now, YouTube, rather than risk censure, and blocking because they do too little, it seems more likely that they are willing to do too much in order to prevent that censure. So if your video gets flagged, it really seems unlikely that a human being is actually watching it. So they simply remove it, and this way they can hold up the number of videos that get deleted from their site every day and say, look, we deleted 550,000 videos last month. All they need are the numbers. They don't need to say, well, we deleted you know, this number of videos that had uh, pornography in them. We had this number of videos that had violence against human beings. And so they don't have to break it down. All they need are numbers. And they can just hold that number up to the British or the French, the Germans, the Canadians, the United States, and say, well, look, we are making a good faith effort to crack down on objectionable material on our website. And this way, they don't risk getting blocked and getting blocked from countries in Europe or North America will cost them cash. Rather than risk it, they do too much. You follow that? Okay. So, um, how do you keep your videos from being wiped off the internet? Now, putting your video up is not always as simple as it is in my case, where I just simply put a picture up and talk into a microphone. For some people, there's a lot more work involved, like video editing, and not to mention all the research that goes into a lot of videos that are put up uh, by people for various causes and reasons, science or sociology, that sort of thing, when people talk about very complicated issues that required a lot of documentation behind it, such as uh, Richard the Dick Coughlin's videos on immigration. Um, for these people, you're talking about a serious investment of time. You're talking days, at least, to make some videos, and hours of editing at the computer. And to have all that wiped away in a second due to someone deciding, I'm going to flag that video just because I can, that's a pain in the ass, to say the least. It doesn't really cost you any money unless you're a YouTube partner. But it just the 
fact that all the time and effort that went into the video is now lost and you can try to get it mirrored but if the initial flagger is enough of an asshole that they will flag all the other videos all the other mirrors of that videos I won't mention a particular example by name because I don't want to give Brett Keen any publicity on my channel um, you know losing a video like that that's gonna hurt more than a video like mine what you can do to keep your videos on the internet and viewable is to upload them onto a separate video sharing website now I personally use DramaTube DramaTube and other sites like it are not affected by YouTube's flagging system and the DMCA process could be better or worse than what has uh, transpired here on YouTube in the past so if you have videos that you have saved in your computer and you've worked your ass off for them my suggestion is to open up a channel away from YouTube on another video sharing site I personally recommend DramaTube and provide links to your other channel on your YouTube channel page like I have so that will keep those videos viewable you can include links to your channel in every single video you post as well as on your channel page and you can get more people to watch those other smaller video sharing sites now um, the reason I chose DramaTube is simply because that's a website that was recommended to me I didn't go and sample each one separately and pick DramaTube as the best one people just told me about it and I figured well why not so you can pick a video sharing site uh, at leisure pick one that you like and whichever one is works well for you and they just put a link on your channel page right and that way your videos are still up and still viewable just not on YouTube and yeah it does suck to lose a channel and uh, what I have done is I put some of my videos on my drama tube page because I was very concerned that those particular videos would get flagged down but if they get flagged down of YouTube they're still available on another website so that's my suggestion and I wish uh, Antediluvian the best in getting back all her subscribers um, it's gonna take some time because most people don't hear about a channel getting flagged or shut down until one day they're going through their list of channels that they subscribe to and they click on someone's name and they say this person's channel's been shut down because that's happened to me I've gone through my list of subscribers and said you know I haven't heard from this person in a while then I click on the channel page and it's like there's nothing there I go to the channel itself and it's like oh they're gone and that sucks so that's just a suggestion for me this is Orion Syndicate 910 thanks for watching